hello and welcome to another video so this is easy os version 6.6.8 so easy os is an experimental linux distro from the creator of puppy linux now this distro is actually very simple very minimalist desktop and in terms of resource usage it's very optimized here is the information about the current system we have and here you can see the it's easy os codename Daedala 64, 6.6.8, AMD 64, uh, Distro Base, uh, the window manager is this JWM version 2.4.2, desktop start is XWIN. Now the, the Linux kernel is 6.6.89, so the naming of the distro coincides with the version of Linux kernel that is available. Now once you install it or run a live session, this is what it looks like. You have the desktop. At the bottom here we have the menu, workspaces here, and then the system notification section on the right side here. On the desktop we have all these icons listed over here. We have files. So let's just look at them one by one. So we start by files and this as you can see here is the file manager. The graphics are not the best but it does whatever needs to be done. Next that is web and for this web chromium web browser which i believe is the only pre-installed browser here now if we look at the version of this browser and the about section you can see the version 136.0 built on debian 12 so it's not that outdated next to that we have apps the easy apps there's a categorization of all the apps that are installed on this system we have for business we have calculators calendar databases and such and if you click over here and see a list of options under calendar you can see we have this this one and then for database we have LibreOffice spreadsheet we have the Libre spreadsheet editor under documents we have book reader HTML editor PDF manager PDF reader and let's look at the text editor here we have the genie leafpad and MP console all these are text editors they are pre-installed and if you want to launch then you can just click over here already installed and a word processor you can see we have Scribus desktop publishing and LibreOffice writer then we move to graphics and we have two 2d and 3d graphics bitmap editor uh, diagram editor camera image viewer printer presentation screenshot we have a screenshot tool yes we have the empty paint snapshot screen capture the screen capture window and full screen and take a short window or screen all those are installed then we have the video editor and for this we have the inkscape library office draw vector soft space and symbol wallpaper map. in the category of internet we have browsers and specifically for this section we have chromium browser which is pre-installed you will be able to download other browsers i'll show you that later under downloads we have uh, plenty we have the axel download accelerator transmission BitTorrent, and youtube downloader for email we have the claw email client file transfer security security we have firewall and the pop ad blocker p2p and streaming streaming we have this pop radio streaming and tv panel let's see this one now we go to media and under media we have the audio mixer audio player audio recorder cd ripper banner desktop recorder media converter uh, video player we have the ff play gtk player celluloid mpv and vlc after media we go to utility and under utility you can see we have clipboards color selector disk map drives processes under processes we have the htop processor viewer the iotop monitor PP process manager and top view running processes for system information we have hardware information ip information pop scan interface system info check quick profile so here's the information about the current system we have we have the current date and whatever then the basic system is right here so information about my pc let's go to the operating system section right so that's the information about the os so far and that's just a short summary now if you want information about a specific session you can check over here the computer id distro file system font kernel local and processes and such so we're not going to dive much into that that was system info then for terminal emulators we have the sakura emulator terminal this is a terminal that isn't that popular but it's available on some linux distros finally we have the urvx terminal emulator next we have the packages and easy os as four package managers 
and they are listed as you can see here we have pkg get this is the traditional package manager packages are installed in the main system a package manager from where you can download as many apps as you like next we have this sfs get for installing sfs files these applications will run in the main system or in a container so this is another package manager the third one is the appi and this one is for app image installation they are standalone and they run pretty much easily so if you want to install you can use this one select whatever app and install you can also uninstall from here and finally we have the flappy and this one is for flat packs so this is a flat pack installer it will allow you to install flat packs into your system and again it's listing just like the software we saw previously so you have plenty of options to install software here now in terms of uh, what this distro is based on uh it's hard to tell but i'm sure it can install the apt packages but with a limited some kind of limitation somewhere next part for the setup this is how you configure your system uh, we have the desktop we have a fonts icon themes a window manager mouse cursors move icons gtk themes and wallpapers and as you can see we have gray this is a default wallpaper lighthouse purple and pop let's stick to the default and then easy os and for this one you can see the boot up configure your next boot up you have easy containers then we have the login manager and then to update the os right so you can update from here there's also the update icon on the desktop as well next uh we have hardware and for the hardware we have the audios bluetooth clock cpus hid monitors screen brightness here you can adjust your screen brightness for monitors you can set the resolution however you like after hardware we go to system and here you can see you can select the default apps event managers local partitions in the pub x terminals you can check configure your terminals colors and transparency and whatever from here oh we also have the video wizard and virtual machines so with this os installs you can you can get uh, virtual machines set them up in your system so far there's no virtual machine software installed but you can install any and get it running now from setup we go to edit and this is just uh, the genie text editor next we have update and this one we just saw earlier uh, let's see what it says yes it's welcome this script will download the latest release of easy os and automatically update the current installation all you will need to do is reboot so it says press enter to continue so if you want to update just press enter and then there's the option any other character then press enter to quit then we have the option to save and this one is for saving your current session so as you can see do you want to save your current session easy os is running in ram with the exception that any files saved in the files are already saved if you like the settings you've made in the current session you just save the session especially if you've not permanently installed the os in your system then here are the containerized sessions so we saw the web earlier but this one is locked it's supposed to open the chromium browser in some kind of container or sort we have a few links here that you can follow if you need help and you can search them online we also have the terminal and this one is still locked then we have the data last and i click it first closes the screen and then pops up with a clean one without the previously apps that we saw this is a containerization of the os we can exit close it and then right click and kill it on the far right we have the trash we have zip and lock screen now if you click on the desktop nothing happens you right click you get this menu the same same menu that is displayed from the start menu on the left now let's look at the menu itself as for the menu the first thing you see here is the desktop next to that we have the system and for this system we have the htop system process viewer so this is like a system monitor of some sort it will show you the resource usage so you can see the tasks that are running the memory usage you can see it's like 200 205 mb out of 4 gb that's the amount of ram that is in use right now 
and the CPU usage you can see is very low it's not even 1% of the processor capability okay so this OS is very lightweight next uh, under system this is where we get the easy setup front front end let's look at this yeah we saw this one earlier it's the just the easy setup that we saw we have the app image installer remember the appr yes then you can check for dependencies default application chooser the easy apt client package manager so this is where you install the apt packages and you can see easy apt is a simple replacement for the debian apt package management the easy apt apt utility currently only support this no other command line options than shown here are allowed so it's apt but with limited uh, number of commands that can be run so in some way easy os can install our packages from apt so the format should be apt install then the name of the packages that you want to install right example is apt install bluefish e3 and nano so these are three packages that you want to install yes apt install and then the names of the packages that you want to install and that's using apt from there we go to the cd drive wizard cpu print printer setup dates we have the d control screen tint and brightness then we also get the option to get nvidia drivers if you have an nvidia system but this one allows you to download nvidia drivers for your system then we have the easy os installer this is how you should install the os into your system the Lamin bootloader installer so this one should allow you to install the bootloader under utility we have the chem gui a virtualization software i don't think it's installed but there's an option to install if you want now next to that we have the easy apps launcher for favorite apps we have file information the gtk hash checksum and all these are just the usual linux stuff that you don't need to mess with now let's go to file system we have the easy os desktop container desktop in container this one is the one we saw right here where you click it and it launches a different session of the easy os desktop but in a container you also get uh, the usual gparted partition manager now for network we have any desk now this is something you don't see much often on linux distros but there's an option to install it if you need to use it so just click install over here and you should get it then there is the firewall setup so this is the allen bobs easy firewall generator for ip tables yes you can configure it from here you just need to remove this checkbox and then select what you want to allow and what you do not want to allow then for internet this is where you get to see what is installed and what is not installed for instance you can see the chrome browser is not installed but you can click here to download it you can download firefox opera you can also download the ungoogled chromium and vivaldi as well you can run chromium in a container you can also run chromium in the current session we have the close email client the axo accelerator all the download softwares are listed over here you also get the ftp client and ssh options listed here and that's it with the internet section we go to media and we saw all the media players that are installed the celluloid mpv vlc and such we also saw the tv panel then another thing here we have the the p equalizer graphic equalizer so this is not something that is common on many linux os's but here you can see an equalizer if your personal likes to set equalizers while playing music you can mess with this one so far we have the preset options for flat jazz pop and rock you can also create your own and save we also get the pop radio streaming so you can stream radio apparently it's listing only american radio stations you can try it if you want to stream now we also get the dreadcom phone webcam so this allows you to use your phone as webcam 
as you can see it's prompting me to set up a few things so far i don't have a smartphone that is connected to the pc so i won't be trying this one but if you have a smartphone near you you can try and see if it works under the category of fun we have the peak pass jigsaw i don't know how this one works but yeah you can play around with it and see what happens uh still under that we have a rubik's cube i would love to try this one out okay so it says press space and set to pause okay so yes just press space and you can press the space bar to start and pause and with the mouse you can roll the rubik's cubes however much you like like and if you stop at a place like that one you can just click to roll it finally we have the x soldier space wall i don't know what this is about but well let's leave that but it's a game so in terms of fun we have the jigsaw puzzle the rubik's cubes and uh, the x soldier space wall and then after that we get the quick setup run and this is the first thing the setup screen that the settings that pops up uh, on your first installation that allows you to set your language uh, location keyboard setup and screen resolution and such so welcome please set this to suit yourself then click ok so we start with the country and for this one you can select the language is english us utf encoding the region the hardware clock and then whether your keyboard has wants to have a num lock or not and on the right we have the change screen resolution so far you can see my screen resolution is right here if it's not matching your system you can scroll from here and select the right resolution for your system and once you're done you can look at firewall whether to enable firewall or not there's also the pc host name so i will call this easy os1 okay and then once you're done you just need to click ok and it's applied to your system all right so that's easy os let me know what you think of easy os have you tried it are you willing to try it and thanks for watching see you on the next one